how is it going so far? I mean, obviously you've had a long pre-season. Your season's just started. Um, first of all, how's the squad looking? How's the team going? And the season ahead, is it looking quite bright for the builders? Yeah, 100%. Um, we've been going, <laughs> we've actually had a long, a long, long pre-season, pre-season yeah. where we've been going from the 20th of May. Jesus, that's what um, <laughs> So uh, we've been going from the 20th of May. We made some changes, um, me and my two assistants and a goalkeeping coach I have in uh, Darren Clark, Johnny Smith and Neil Edgar. Um, we made a couple of changes, um, big changes off the back of last year. Mm. Obviously last year was our first year. Um, we decided to sort of push a couple of boys into senior football um, mm. so they went different paths um, and sort of tried to run with a younger team. Mm. Um, so we brought in 2007s, um, a good group of them. Yep. Mixed with the two thousand sixes and a couple of couple of 05s. Okay. Um so yeah, I mean uh, as far as we're 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 starting now, um two wins from two. Um so it's been a great start and the boys are all all the, the boys we've brought in are enjoying it. It's, yeah. it's looking good so far. Seems to be a good camaraderie around the, the training. I mean how do we look at it tonight there when the boys were training? It seems to be a good bunch of lads you have there who are are willing to prove themselves to you. Um, yeah, there's a good bunch of lads that are just are hungry to try and get noticed. Yeah, well, I, th- I think I think the big thing, Matt, is the is the pathway. Yeah. Um, you know, Mark and and Paul have have given us a real big foundation to you know to push a pathway, and I know a lot of clubs will come out and say it, but there is a real pathway here. Of course. Um, you know, Biggie like Albreath, he was at our trials, at our open our open training sessions, as we like to call them, last year, mm-hmm. um, and within. By the end of pre-season, Mark had identified that 21s. he was ready to go into twenty ones. Mm-hmm. Um, we we'll have Mason Finn, who is yep. part of the twenty one squad now. Yep. Um, and then uh, we had John Mahoney, and uh, who's unfortunately now he's away to Dramara Village. Mm-hmm. But he, towards the end of Christmas last season, um, he made the jump up, and and some of them didn't make the jump up permanently last year but there was a lot of opportunities mm-hmm. um, so basically what I've been doing is anybody that's been coming and recruiting them giving them the feedback out that that's actually been happening yeah, you know giving them facts um, and I think everybody's you know we're all fully focused on under 18s because yeah. that's our primarily our job but we all know that we're well as players and mm-hmm. when we're called upon that we're ready to go that's good obviously you're saying plus about Mark and Paul I mean they're the two type of coaches that are given opportunities now that um, previously in the past you would have never normally seen around here, but now there is that sort of feeder system from the 16th to yourselves, the Mark. But Mark's obviously then moving them, progressing them boys under the first team, because you see boys in the first team now, the likes of the Kyle Flynn's and, you know, Ocean Bars and all them boys. Yeah. I- exactly, all those boys that have sort of come in um, and fed into the first team. But I mean, it, it's a good option to have. And I'm sure now you're, you're looking to push those boys forward. I'm sure you're pr- telling these boys every week now, look, listen, there is opportunities here at this club yeah. to move forward and get, get those opportunities. Well, that's what it's about. You know, it's at the end of the day, we're development coaches. You know, this is, what, what, this is what we're here for. You know, we, we, what we're doing and, you know, we're liaising with Paul and Mark and, and not just Paul and Mark, you know, their staff as well, Warren and Keith and Noel and, and Filsey and, um, you know the direction we're trying to head in is is to be able to, you know, uh, as well as going out and recruit, we have our own players mm. that are fed through the system. And like I say, you know, we're we're trying to build on that year on year. And and we just at under 18s we just want players that are that are you know, they've got a a decent amount of, of ability mm. and then but they're hungry and they want to play football and they want that pathway. Of course. Um, because it is a difficult age. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you know, everybody's aligned and, and it's it's great for us too to know that you have those tools above of that course. you can go and say, listen, you maybe need to take a wee look at this. Well, it's good to see as well, because I mean, like look, the success of the 21s, even last season when they went on and won the league last year, I mean, it's good for you, the likes of your boys who are looking up at that and saying, that could be me, yeah. you know what I mean? And then recently, th- there the last couple of days, we've announced a new community project as well, which is an our door opening as well for the likes of yourselves at that young level to bring in more young players who maybe even knew, didn't even know about the club had this type of sort of base that we have here now and it's good for yourself as well plus it's a good headache as well I'm sure you're thinking as well yeah, to have more options for a team to make a successful team for yourself and the 16s and also the 21s it's great to have that option absolutely you know absolutely. what I mean so but I mean the season so obviously you said two wins from two which is a great start um, unfortunately your game was called off last week which is a bit of a nightmare but yeah. he's back in action again this Friday night, isn't it right? Yeah, yeah this Friday back in action. Night. So obviously we've been keeping people notified of what's going on and stuff like that. So 
I mean, we've got a, a couple of tough games coming to check your fixtures. I mean, it's going to be a tough league that you're in this year, and mm -hmm. there's going to be some tough fixtures. But, I mean, overall, are you feeling confident going into these next few weeks as well, especially up into the Christmas period? Yeah, it's, I think we're just sort of taking it game by game. And like I say, you know, effectively, this is our second year. Effectively, mm -hmm. this is year one again because of the changes that we decided to make. Um, so we're just taking it game by game, step by step, and, and just really focusing on the development. Um, winning is a, a big part of development, I think, um, of with the boys. But with them being so young, it's about learning and taking each game and trying to pick the bones from it learn from our mistakes and make us better and you know it is going to be a tough league there's a lot of tough teams in it with Shango and then with Bangor and then I think after that will be Green Island so um, three teams that are th they're flying in the league mm. as well so um, yeah as far as aspirations and stuff we're just like I say taking it game by game yeah. and, and uh, just trying to, to build on on what's there and what's already sort of happening. Well, just being such a young team as well, I mean, you obviously can't put so much expectation on the boys as well because you're, you're a very young team, you know, and obviously that's a sort of a platform you can use to build from that over the next coming years. I mean, obviously there's going to be boys coming from the 16s into your team as well over the next couple of years, and now with us feeding in more people from this community project, you know, it is going to take obviously a bit of time to sort of build that foundation because we're still a very young club yeah. when it comes to that level. Would you agree with that? Yeah, 100%. And it's like I say, you know, that uh, the plan is, you know, with Adam, he's had a good start of the season with the under 16s as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so we're having a look at his players, you know, week by week. Um, Mark's having a look at our players, and, and like I say, we, we're a young squad, but we've got good experience in there in 2006s as well. And like I say, next year the plan is to move them 2006s into Mark's team, mm -hmm. um, and then we've built the core of the 2007s. There's nothing to say, you know, there's ages on it, but there's nothing to say. A 2007 might go in the marks team. Of course, you know if it, it's it's all down to them. But the plan and the project is we keep the 2000s, 2007s for two years. Um, we, we help the 2006s and the 2005s mm -hmm. as well that are in the, in the team, um, and then we pull we pull up from Adams. <laughs>